the vlog. walking around early before class to film some videos for Vlogmas and now I'm just on my way to school and I thought I would show you what's going on this morning so let's go I'm gonna be late <laughs> Crossing the street in Piazza Venezia is so scary to me. But I wanted to come here and show you this really interesting spot in the center of Rome where you can see what an ancient Roman apartment would have looked like. This is the Insula del Araceli. It is one of the few surviving examples of an insula or an apartment block where many Romans used to live. This one was built during the second century AD and rediscovered under an old church when Mussolini initiated a plan for massive urban renewal of Rome's historic Capitoline Hill neighborhood, which is right here. Four floors still remain. The ground floor would have been made up of shops that would face the surrounding streets and the owners would use ladders to access their living quarters immediately above. Above the shop level, is a mezzanine floor and the third floor seemed to be large spacious apartments and the fourth floor had a corridor with series of three room suites leading off of it. The design is pretty similar to how many Romans still live today and you can see this for free just as you're walking by. I came to Piazza Venezia to film some other videos that are coming out soon. I wanted to show you one of my favorite spots in Rome that's still kind of like a best kept secret. So come up here to the Capitoline Museum and you're going to turn to the right and you'll see this arch. Walk up this street and at the top of it you'll find this terrace with a beautiful view of Rome. It overlooks Teatro Marcello and the Jewish synagogue. It's not touristy at all but it's dead in the center of the city and I love it because you can come up here and have a little bit of a break and just enjoy the beauty of the rooftops of Rome. Oh, 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 oh,
I wanted to see this church, but I think I need to go back on another day when the sun is out. Even though it might be a little bit dark, I still wanted to show you what I filmed. So this church is San Marco in Palazzo, and it's dedicated to St. Mark the Evangelist. It was first built in 336. The Basilica is the National Church of Venice in Rome. In 1465 to 1470, the facade of the church was restyled according to the Renaissance taste using marbles taken from the Colosseum and Teatro Marcello. The church retains its ancient basilica layout, but the inside of the church is Baroque. The mosaics in the apse date back to 827 to 844. The wooden ceiling from 1464 is one of the only two original 15th century wooden ceilings in Rome, together with the one at Santa Maria Maggiore, which I made another video about a while ago and I'll link it in the cards. In the portico, there are several early Christian gravestones. I pass by this fountain almost every day on my way to school and I wanted to stop and show you guys. It says Aqua Vergine, which comes from the Roman aqueduct that was built in 19 BC by Marcus Agrippa and it's still in use today. It flows water through the Trevi Fountain and originally it was to flow through the Baths of Caracalla, but this water is still flowing from that original aqueduct today and you can even visit it and see underground how it works and take a tour of it. But anyway, it still supplies the freshest drinking water ever, and I always fill up my water bottle before class at some of these fountains. I thought that was a cool piece of history. But that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos about Rome and my life in Italy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!